With the help of perplexity, this battery in this report only took me like 20 minutes from zero to finish. And just three months ago, data collection alone would have taken me at least an hour. Perplexity is like an analyst assistant helping me to distill vast amount of information into a logical framework. So after using it for three months, I want to share my experience hoping it will help those of you looking to boost your search efficiency. But free users get unlimited quick searches, free pro searches, and up to three files uploads per day. Pro plans offer 300 plus pro searches daily, $5 free API credit monthly, advanced AI models, file analysis, and image generation. It's $20 paid monthly and $200 paid annually. It offers $10 off each billing cycle through the referral program. Starting on November 12, 2024, ads will appear in the US and will be formatted as sponsored follow-up questions. Imagine the internet is like a huge library. Google is like the library's index system. When you ask, I want to learn about AI. The system lists out many shelf numbers and book titles. You need to go to each shelf yourself, open each book to check its content, judge which book are more valuable yourself, and finally summarize and organize the knowledge in your head yourself. On the other hand, perplexity is like a knowledgeable librarian. He asks the same question, he will run through all the relevant books, quickly browse important chapters, compare viewpoints from different books, and tell you which book the information comes from. However, his memory might be occasionally fuzzy, he will have hallucinations, so you need to take everything with a grain of salt. In perplexity, each search is called a thread containing your question and all the follow-ups. You can start a search from new thread or from the homepage. Homepage is our main search page. Below the search bar, we can see focus. It is like adding a filter to your search. There is web, which is the regular search. Perplexity will find answers across the entire web. Academic mode will focus on research articles. This mode is perfect for academic research and writing papers. For example, if you want to know about muscle growth, Plexity will go through the academic database mainly, NCBI database for medical research, and Semantic Scholar. When you choose video, it will search for video content only, and math will solve equation for you. Writing mode will generate text without searching web. Well, social mode mainly looks at discussion on platforms like Reddit. It is called social mode, but it's more like Reddit mode because I rarely see sources other than Reddit. For example, if you want to learn daily struggles with ADHD, perplexity will search discussion on Reddit. You'll see people sharing their experience, common coping strategies, community recommended solutions. Personally, I recommend using web mode over social mode as web mode already includes social platform content while providing more comprehensive information sources. Next to focus, there's a attach button where you can upload your files like PDFs, Word, and etc. And perplexity will consider the file content to give you a more targeted answer. Below home tab is discover. This is a place showcasing popular content, sort of like trending list. And spaces. I really like this feature. Imagine this as your private research room. You can upload files, invite friends for discussions, and keep all the research related to a topic organized in one place. We'll discuss this feature in detail later. Next, we have library. All your search histories are stored here. You can come back anytime to review and continue previous discussions. Besides basic personal information, you can choose which AI model to use. We have some popular models like these and image generation models like these. Regarding these AI models, I've seen some interesting discussion online about ChatGPT versus Perplexity's writing mode, saying that while they use the same underlying models, Perplexity has specially optimized its model to focus on search and providing accurate information rather than creative writing. However, from my experience, when I test both with the same question, something quite interesting happens. Despite using the same GPT-40 model, sometimes ChatGPT's responses are actually less comprehensive than Perplexity's. As you can see in this example, Perplexity provides more structured and detailed information with better context. But that's just my personal experience. I'd love to hear yours. For the profile on the top, you can tell Perplexity your personal preference. For example, this is how I set up mine. So Perplexity can adjust all search results according to my preference. I will leave mine in the comment section. Let's start with a simple example. On the homepage, we'll select web mode. 
And like traditional search, you can ask multiple questions at once. For instance, I can ask how to buy a camera and here's my budget. What do you recommend? What should I be aware of? What I love most is that you can see the entire thinking process like these. It collects information from professional view sites, photography forums, YouTube reviews, and various other channels. Click view source and we'll see all the sources it used. If you notice a source is outdated or you just simply don't like it, you can remove it. And perplexity will regenerate the answer. Each response has its source. Clicking these numbers take you directly to the source. And if you're not satisfied with the answer, you can click rewrite to regenerate with a different model. Perplexity's founder mentioned in an interview that Connors were talking and then we said, hey, like the biggest blocker to us, is, the biggest enemy to us is not Google. It is the fact that people are not naturally good at asking questions. So after each answer, perplexity generate related follow-up questions like these. Just click to learn more without whacking your brain for what to ask next. And here's a useful search tip. You can specify word count. If you want to dive deep into a topic, ask like this. Please explain the current state and future trends on metaverse in no less than 2,000 words. This prevents perplexity from giving overly brief answers. As I said before, space feature is like having your own private research room. When you create your research room, you can label your research topic, which is setting up space name and descriptions. You can choose your assistant, which is selecting AI model. Tell them your research habits by providing custom instruction. You can upload your files to this space. Perplexity doesn't just search through the internet. You also reference your personal materials. You can also invite up to five friends to your research room. Everybody can brainstorm together. Let's demonstrate with an example. Imagine you're planning to start a digital nomad lifestyle, but you're unsure which city to choose or how much budget to prepare. This is where Perplexity Space can serve as your personal consultant. First, we click here to create a space named Digital Nomad Journey Planning. And then I can write the instruction like this. Your experienced digital nomad consultant, please help me to do all the things below. And this instruction applies to all threads within this space. In this example, I've uploaded two files which I've prepared earlier. The first is our cost analysis PDF that compares cities. The second file contains some crucial travel information about visa details, banking experience, healthcare resources. When I ask my first question, search the web and analyze the file I've uploaded. You can see it's reading through my uploaded files about living cost and travel information and at the same time, searching platforms like Reddit and Nomad communities. It synthesized everything into a structured analysis. It didn't just throw facts, but organized them into meaningful categories like cost, work feasibilities, and cultural adaption. Within this space, you can create multiple threads to organize different aspects of your research. For example, one thread dedicates to visa requirements. Another will be about cost breakdowns. The thread organization helps keep your research structured and prevents information overflow. You can easily reference back to any specific topic without scrolling through one massive conversation. The best part is that all threads within the space have access to your uploaded files and custom instructions. So you don't need to re-upload your documents or repeat your context for each new question. There's another cool feature is the ability to turn your search into a page. You can tweak and polish the content, ask for rewrites for sections if you're not happy with it. And when it's all polished up, you can publish it and share it with somebody else. That's all for today's sharing. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.